Hey guys, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. So in today's video, I wanna go over with you just a basic estimate for a concrete floor. So when a customer calls me up and just wants a price on doing their concrete floor, this is the basics on how I do it. Um, they'll give me a floor plan like this. And the first thing I need to do is I read over the specs, obviously. Hey guys, Mike here. I just wanna make sure you stay tuned and watch the whole video. I've got a special announcement coming up at the end of the video. So we'll see you at the end. And then I got to come up with a square footage. So I got a house right here and a garage right here. And on this plan, it just so happens it has all the dimensions measured out really nice for me. But if it didn't, then I can, I can go over here and look at the scale. And this one says it's a quarter inch per foot. So I could use a scale ruler like this to get my measurements. Or if it's a quarter inch per foot, that's pretty easy even just to do a regular ruler. I'll know if it's a quarter inch per foot, each inch will have four feet in it. So I could just measure out my dimensions and measure out every quarter inch as a foot. And I could get my dimensions that way. Um, but with this one, it's got all the dimensions for me, so we can just use them. So the first thing I'm going to do to get my square footage is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at each section of the house. This one isn't broken up too bad. It's basically broken into two sections here. So this section is 14 feet by 36. So I'll write that down 36 by 14. And then this section here is 48 by 28. So I'll just write down my 48 by 28. And then this section here is the garage. And the garage is 26 by 26. So I need to know the square footage before I can start figuring any of my costs. And with this, all I'm doing is I'm figuring the cost of the concrete. It says a four inch concrete slab over six mil poly vapor barrier. So I'm responsible for the concrete, for the poly vapor barrier. And in the garage, they want the welded wire mesh so I'm responsible for the wire mesh. So there's basically three materials there that I'm responsible for. I don't do any of the excavation. I don't any, do any of the sub-base grading. They're just hiring me to pour the concrete. So that's all I'm pricing. So the first thing I do is I get my square footage and we can do that just the old fashioned way. 36 by 14, 504. 48 by 28, 1344, and 26 by 26, 676. So then I just add those together. Twenty five. 24. So I got a total of 2,524 square feet. And so that's where I start my estimate from. So from there, I can figure my concrete. And what I do is I got a formula for figuring how many yards of concrete I'm going to need. Now you can use just a concrete calculator if you want online or, or even a concrete calculator app on your phone. Or you can use a basic formula like I use. I know that if I take the square footage, if this is a four inch thick concrete floor and I take the square footage, 25, 24, and I divide that by 81, that's going to give me my yardage. That's a good basic formula and you can do it umpteen ways. You can Google that and look up all kinds of formulas, but that's the basic way. That's the easiest way for me and the fastest way. So that gives me 31.16 yards. So if I was figuring the yardage for this and it came up to exactly 31.16, I'm probably going to add a couple yards of that just to be safe. So I'll be right around 33 yards. And I'm figuring on a 3,000 PSI concrete. And I'm also figuring the outside dimensions of the concrete wall. I always figure outside dimensions because that just gives me a little bit of extra concrete to be safe in case the sub-base prep isn't very good. A lot of times I'll go shoot my grades on a job like this and there'll be places where there's four inches, places where there's five inches, places four and a half. So 
I want to make sure that I have enough concrete figured so I don't have to go back to the homeowner and say, well, you know, the sub base prep really isn't that good. It's going to be an extra $300 for concrete. If I have myself covered up front, then I don't have to do that. And most of the time that works out just fine. So I got 33 yards of concrete. Now, uh, a roll of six mil poly, I usually buy rolls of six mil poly in 20 feet by 100 feet rolls. So there's 2,000 square feet of poly in that roll. And I need 2,524 square feet. So I know I need a little bit more in a roll. So I'll figure two rolls, six mil poly, and then the wire mesh in the garage. The wire mesh, the the light gauge wire mesh comes in five foot by 10 foot sheets, so 50 square feet. So if I got 676 square feet in the garage divided by 50 equals 13.52 sheets of wire. Now that's without any overlap. Now I usually like to overlap the wire a little bit so I can tie them together. So when I, when I figure the wire, I usually actually figure it at 45 square feet. So let's see what that comes out to. 676 divided by 45 equals 15 sheets of wire right on the money. So I got 15 sheets. 5 by 10 wire. All right, so now I got all my materials figured. 33 yards, 2 rolls of 6 mil poly. 15 sheets of wire. So my cost from there is, I know my cost for concrete, let's just say it's $125 a yard for 3,000 PSI concrete, 125. Two rolls, six mil poly, a roll of six mil poly is about 100 bucks on average, maybe a little less depending on where you are. So I know I gotta buy two rolls. So there's $200 right there. 15 sheets of 5x10 wire. Now I can buy my wire mesh for about, let's just round it up to about 9 bucks a sheet. And I got 15, so 15 times 9 equals 135. So my, my cost, 33 yards times 125 equals $4,125 for concrete, 200 for the poly, 135 for the wire. Let's add that up. $4,460 is what I'm going to have to pay for my materials. So if I want to figure what that is per square foot, I'd take that total $4,460 divided by the total square footage of the floor, 2,524 square feet, a dollar, about 1.767, so about $1.77 a square foot is what my cost is. So that's what's gonna cost me to do that floor. Now, a couple other things I look at is what's the access gonna be like? Am I gonna be able to, to back a concrete truck around here and get this poured right over the wall? Or am I gonna need a pump truck for that? If I'm gonna need a pump truck, I add an extra $1,000 right on there for the pump truck because for, for us to get a pump on site, it's usually about $850 and then you need a yard of concrete to fill the pump truck up. So there's yeah, another 125, so that gets you right up close to 1,000. So I'll figure, a thousand bucks for a pump truck if I need to. That's that's added on to that, and then uh, that's basically it. You know, am I going to be pouring this wide open over the wall? Am I going to be pouring it after the house is built? Sometimes I'll add on some extra for that if I have to, if the access isn't very good. But the basic cost is twenty five hundred and twenty four square feet times one point seven seven. 2524 times 1.77 a square foot, $4,467. Now, 
the next thing you do is figure in your labor rate. Now, I know that, you know, depending on where you are in the country, everybody's labor rate is going to be a little different. Um, we would come in here and pour the house and garage all on the same day. So we're basically there for one day. So I just, you know, I would figure my labor rate based on a day. And I've been doing it so long, so I have a basic square footage that I charge to come in, pour, and finish concrete. And whatever that is for you guys, that's what you would finish. Whether it's, let's say it's a dollar a square foot or a dollar fifty a square foot or two dollars a square foot, whatever you need to charge to come in there and do that. Um, just to make it simple, let's say it's a dollar fifty or let's say it's two bucks a square foot for you to come in here with your crew for a day to pour and finish that floor. So 25, 24 times two, that's about 5,048 bucks. Add that to the cost of the materials. And you came up with $9,508 to do the concrete floors for this job right here. Um, and that's basically how I figure my estimates, guys. I mean, I figure my materials based on what they want me to do. Now remember, I gotta go in, I gotta go in probably the day before or a couple days before, and I gotta lay the poly, I gotta lay the wire mesh, I gotta go pick that stuff up. So you could you could technically add a little bit of extra cost on for that if you want to. If it's for a regular customer of mine, I don't usually do that. If it's for people that only hire me once or twice a year, then I'll add on a little extra cost. But for uh for most of the people that call me all the time, I just have a basic square foot cost. And you know, if we added $2 a square foot for the labor, and then you had your $1.77 for your materials, that comes out to $3.77 a square foot for uh, a basic four inch concrete floor on a house and garage like this. So. Any questions or comments, guys, just leave them down in the comments. I'll get back to you the best I can. But I just wanted to show you how I figure my, a basic estimate when someone calls me up and they want to know how much it's going to cost for me to come in and do a concrete floor for them. This is basically how I do it. This is the old school way. There are some newer ways to do this online, and I'll be coming up with videos about that pretty soon. Hey, guys, Mike here. So... I'm going to be coming out with a program that's going to, it's a membership program where I'm going to be doing some live trainings like this and help you guys, for you guys that want help, that, uh, you know, will help you do estimating, it will help you do invoicing, it will help you set up your own business, it will just help you through the process of, of being profitable in a concrete business like this, like I am. There'll be trainings in this membership area where, you know, you'll learn how to do stamp concrete, you'll learn how to do staining. Uh, pouring concrete floors, concrete driveways, concrete pool decks, all that kind of stuff. All those types of trainings will be in there and uh, epoxy floors will be in there. Um, so, And then I'm also going to have a program where I do one-on-one -on -one coaching if you'd like to hire me to do one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I could, I could help you step-by-step, -step, you know, starting your own business, how, how to go from point A to point B, how to be profitable, how to run a concrete business like I have for the last 40 years. So that's all that stuff's coming up real soon, guys. So I appreciate you watching and just stay tuned for that. I'll keep you all updated.